All right, guys, it's all your ugly man, Brethren, back down in the workshop this evening. I have a slightly different video for you all today. I got myself a trolling motor for the kayak. It is a water snake electric trolling motor, 18 pound thrust, 12 volts. Smallest, cheapest, simplest one I could have found. I didn't want anything too heavy. I ordered it from Amazon and I imported it and brought it in. So, let me bust it open and let me see what it look like. Had some tape on the box, but I cut that beforehand. I didn't check it out yet, so both you all and I are going to check it out at the same time. So let me see what this thing is about. Oh, it's very light. The weight on it is supposed to be 7.8 pounds. I didn't want anything too heavy because my kayak is a very small kayak. My kayak is 8 feet. Ugh, God. Plastic bag. Yeah, my kayak is 8 feet and it only weighs 30 pounds and I myself only weigh 120 pounds. So I didn't want anything too big and heavy and cumbersome to move with. The reason I ended up getting this was because, hmm, as some of you all may know, I have back problems. And when I go to the kayak, after a little while of paddling, my back just start to act up. And it's hard to relax and enjoy yourself when you're in pain. So, I decided to get myself this. It's not bad at all, actually. Look at it. I think this handle is supposed to pop out. There's no propeller on it. It's supposed to be in a box, I guess. Let me see comes with a sticker oh there's the propeller propeller and some other thing in this little pack here together with the manual we just take a quick skim through on this Think. comes with a pretty decent manual that picture is everything illustrated oh, okay yeah it shows you here how to install the propeller and all that. Seems simple. All right, let me start mounting up. We gotta try this thing out. Propeller. Let's have a little pin. I guess this have to go through the shaft here. And then there's a little groove at the back of the propeller for this to go down. Oh, there we have something else stuck in front here. This is the nut to retain the propeller. All right, so far so good. And I'm guessing this special little star looking tool here is to tighten it. Seems to be, yes it is, to tighten it. I don't want to over tighten this thing because everything here is plastic. I want to strip nothing. <coughs> Should I put my torque wrench on that and see how much it is? We see. Click. Call that 40 pounds of force. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I got this box out of the way and let me check out this thing. Oh. oh, this button here. Turn it. No, press it. Pull it. Oh, there you go. I had to pull this little knob for the handle to come out. It has. Forward, reverse. It's just two simple toggle switches. Forward and reverse. The center position is off and it has two speed, high and low. That's it. Comes with the wires and the battery clamps, the battery terminals. See them? No, oh, see them. All right, let me try this thing out. Let me see how it go. To power it, I'm going to be using this. It's just a very small car battery, a 12 volt battery. It is a rocket, super maintenance free calcium MF rocket unlimited power. It is 410 cranking amps and 35 amp hours. The current draw on this, according to the 
box is 7 amps on low speed and 15 amps on high speed so if this battery is 35 amp hours it should put out it should be able to put out 35 amps for one hour constantly that's what our rating means so with on high speed i should get two hours running because it's 15 amp draw and on low speed i should get four hours running that's not bad for such a tiny battery and it weighs about maybe 10 12 pounds the motor weighs 7.8 pounds that was the shipping weight on it so all in all is a pretty light package for the kayak it's 18 pound thrust so i'm not expecting any big setup power out of it but let me hook it up and make sure it's working and try it out and see how it go let me see if i could set it up i'll turn back on the camera in a few all right guys have it all set up here i have the motor mounted on a little piece of wood on the side of the workbench into a barrel on the side here i have it connected to my battery i have a timer i use any phone as a timer the stopwatch on the phone and i have a voltmeter connected to it so i'm going to turn it on leave it running and see how long it runs before the bat before the voltage starts to drop under 12 volts so i'm gonna set it up let me turn it on and let me get started on this thing all right let me see here we check and make sure it's working. Okay, I'm gonna try it out yet. Let me see. Low speed, forward. Wow. Damn. Okay. I know it's 18 pounds at thrust. I wasn't expecting no big set of thing, but it, it has some power. It feels on the sound. And that's a low speed. Yeah, that's a low speed. Let's try the high one. Wow. This should more than work. That's not bad at all. I expected all that to. Alright, let me get started on the test here. Start the timer. Start. Check the voltage. Starting at 12.67 volts. Let's turn it on. Timer running. Good. Leave it on low speed for a while. We can leave it on the low speed and let it run and see how we voltage it standing up. Let me see if calculation actually work out the same way in the real world. All right, well, we're approaching the 30 minute mark, and so far the voltage has dropped from 12.4 volts down to 11.5 with the engine running after about half hour. So, this, this is not one of the most exciting experiments I've ever done, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I just sit in here looking at it for the past half hour. I think once I get once I could get like an hour or one and a half running run time from it, that'll be more than enough for me. Usually that's how that's how my fishing trips is go. I will go out at early in the morning sunrise, depending on when the high tide is or whatever. And I will troll to move my trolling thing in the water and troll going out. Stay out there for a little bit, a couple hours, and then come back in. So hour one and a half is, is should be sufficient run time and i mean i will still walk with my paddle in case i anything you know backup it's always good to have a backup especially when you're out on the sea you know what they say two is one and one is none so always have to have a plan b here we now dip under 11 point 11.49 volts uh, we keep going let me see how long you go All right, well, as I hear just waiting, watching this water churn, I ain't gonna lie, the sound of the water churning making me sleepy, so I decided to read the box. I, I say I might as well, you know, 
give all an idea about the specs on this thing so I'll just read off wait out on the box here and I don't know I'll let it, I'll let it make up all their own mind it, uh, the model number is T18-SW I believe the SW stands for salt water 18 pound thrust 12 volts minimum slash maximum amp draw 7 slash 15 amps I believe that means 7 amps on the low speed and 15 amps on the high speed shaft length 24 inches or 60 centimeters white salt water motor nylon transom mount ideal for kayaks or inflatable craft high or low speeds forward and reverse control retractable handle alloy shaft weedless two blade propeller stainless steel propeller shaft sacrificial anode and the website is watersnakeusa.com and down at the bottom in very very tiny print it says made in china distributed worldwide by jarvis marine investments limited and its international partners yeah surprise already i'll let it know i can read right <laughs> let me see how long has it been i think we're now coming up on about 45 minutes let me see where the voltage reading we are at 11.21 volts it doesn't seem to have slowed down much after the 45 minutes so let me keep going I'll push it a little bit and see i'll check back in in a little bit that's about all the information i have on it for now i must say so far i'm pretty impressed with it 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 seems a lot stronger than i had originally thought i was thinking you know 18 pound thrust is not much but it tuned in away a 20 gallon barrel of water co quite comfortably for the past 45 minutes 46 minutes <laughs> so so far so good i do believe this was a nice little investment on amazon it cost me 110 us plus the shipping and everything to bring it down here to Trinidad and whatnot I believe it came up to about just under $1400 TT landed down here which is not bad I was even considering to bring a couple of them and sell it to some of the kayak guys some of my friends because I mean we have no options down here as far as kayak motors go the smallest outboard you'll get down here is a 2 horsepower Yamaha for 5200 TT that's like the engine that I use on the, the bigger boat the one that I made with the barrels and apart from that kayak men have zero options you don't you don't get these trolling motors selling anywhere locally really and if they do it's very expensive it might cost you just as much as almost just as much as a, a gas powered outboard motor so let me see how it go i'll let keep good i'll check back in whenever this thing decided to die out i think i might stop it i'll probably stop it at 10 volts when the voltage drops to 10 volts i'll cut it off there and See how long that takes. So I like it. Alright guys, we are at about an hour and the voltage just dipped under 10 volts. It's at 9.98 right now. The motor is still churning away just as strong as before. I haven't noticed any slowing down or anything. And we are at about our one a one eight minutes close to a one ten minutes you could say i wonder how long it will take before it dies completely but i think i think this this should work perfectly for what i intended to use it for it should be fine a lightweight means of propulsion for the kayak so yeah all in all thumbs up on the water snake ts18 t18s I think God Father, me and Raylan. But it's working good. So far, so good. I guess tomorrow I'll try to make up some kind of rigging to put it on the kayak. And one of these days when I have a little time and I could run away a little bit, we'll go try it out. I'll let you see it on the water. Hopefully, catch a fish. This is a lot of effort and I don't catch much fish in all. I realize that. I just really waste time, I feel. Anyway, it's all in good fun. Relaxation and pretty love of fishing. So. I think I'll let this run a little bit again until I see it slow down noticeably but it should be fine I don't anticipate any problems getting to the hour and a half mark time wise so we call that we call that the end of this video what they say so far so good
Kalau si belas side, kalau lebih mahal tinggal cek bagi nalex ni. Kalau kita. So, I just put the battery back on the charger there, and it says it's at forty three percent. So you can see I use roughly half the power of the battery. After one ten minutes, low speed. Yeah, that that should be fine. That should that should be able to take me out and have a nice day fishing and come back in safely. So far so good.